show the bad boy this afternoon, Schoolboy Q, and uh, Studio. I'm excited, man. I told you who's stopping by early, and of course, I told everybody to tweet and uh, just social media me to death. But I gotta say, what's up, Mr. Demetra McKinney is up in the oh, world. Hey, how you doing? Hi, right, what's up? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? All uh, right, you know, I always got to get up on people's back background, folks, too provide no sound effect in the background. You know when I introduce people uh-huh. and then the people bring people with them right. and they just sit there probably on the phone. I can't even see. Is he in on the phone? shirts. Yeah. He's on the phone, right? Yeah. He's okay, let's try this again. Everybody, this is Demetrio McKinney. There, you, there go. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How you feel? Man, I'm, I'm so excited. Life is good. Life is good. Life is 100. Okay. How about that? So we stepping out of the TV realm, and we, we you know, we doing the music thing, which I had no idea whatsoever. I'm pleasantly surprised. Thank you. But uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go to the back. What came first, the uh, the acting or the music? Weirdly enough, music has always been the passion. But right. acting, because I've been such an idiot my whole life, you know, kind of took off before everything else. So, okay. Yeah. How'd that work out? How'd you and the uh, the Tyler Perry projects come together? I, I gotta act this. Oh my gosh. Um, I was actually pursuing the music. I was supposed to be going back and forth between Atlanta and Florida to work okay. Jagged Edge at the time. Okay. So um, I decided to get involved in a play, and we had about 30 people in Dothan, Alabama. Tyler Perry happened to be one of them, and he took me from there. Wait a minute. It was like literally, yeah, like my cousin Tyler and them would at my play, yes, okay. and Tyler happened to be there, and it was a wrap. What play was this? The play was called The Woman I Am Today. It was actually produced by William Park. Okay, okay. And then boom, bam. And then boom, bam. And then boom, bam. I'm originally from Florida. See? Good job. Thank yes, you, thank yes. You. See? And uh, <laughs> uh, from there, I moved to Atlanta, military military yeah. background. Yeah. Okay. I mean, how is, how is that? You know, how's that experience growing up in the military? You know, it's bittersweet. You know, um, people talk about how they have the friends from third grade and, you know, this is their hometown and all that stuff. And I don't really have that experience. But at the same time, with the touring that I've done with the plays and with the, the circuit and everything, it's really prepped me for everything. Okay. Because see, my older sisters had that experience yeah. of traveling and stuff. But once my mom had the third kid, she was, she was like, yo, we're we going to be right here. We're going to sit down and Say look goodbye around. to daddy for two years. <laughs> you know, I saw my dad my freshman year in high school. Wow. Didn't see him again like my junior year. Yeah, all those TDYs and, and you know, changes of things. You know, my sisters, you know, God bless them, you know, multi- multi-language, you know. I oh, speak, yeah. I speak English. I speak Negro. Spanish and Tagalog. You know, I speak Spanish because that's the household. Uh-huh. But, you know, they have a little bit of French. You know, they have a little German. Nice. I speak English, Spanish, and Negro. That's well, all I speak. Uh-huh. That's all I speak. Which is the most fluent. That's true, too. That's true, too. <laughs> I'm excited about the show tonight, man. Tell everybody. Let's oh. get the background, man. Oh, let's my gosh. The, the whole single, the 100, 100, which is dope. Thank you. Thank you. If it's um, something, I tell you. Listen. But it's dope. It, it's, 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 it's time. It's time for everybody right. to just be real with who they are. You know what I mean? Dudes, if you're looking for a wife, we out here. If you're looking for them thoughts. They over there too. They're in abundance. They're in abundance. They're, They're kind of winning right They're more now. Thoughts than good women. You know, but it's just a matter of just just presenting who you are. Don't tell me you got a Benz. Don't tell me you got your own house. And then when you pull up, you definitely got here on the metro, and you're living with your mama. Wow. We're gonna be upset. Just be who you are. Just be who you are. Now, let's, and let's I get feel into so that. blessed to have the brat on that joint. Honestly, keep it one hundred with yeah. me. Yeah. Of course, you're in the you know the, the Hollywood world and, okay. the, and the Hollywood men, and it, it's cliche for you to go with an actor. <laughs> so you're on the street, and Danny the Garbage Man comes up to you. Mm-hmm. He's handsome, you know, but he's a garbage man. Let's be honest now. Are you really going to give him the time of day if he's, he, if he's nice and all that other? You know, come on now. In all honesty, most of my relationships have been away from the entertainment industry. Have they lasted? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. You, are you currently in a relationship now? I am. Okay, that's what's up. You make me happy. Oh, my Lord. Look at you sprung <laughs> nose wide open. I can park a car with your nostril just whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I tell you what, stick around. I'm going to talk more with Demetri McKinney tonight. It's definitely going to go down in my place. Uh, doing the song 100 with the brat and tat tat, which I was, you know, that was my crush. Before, was she? Uh, oh, yeah, the brat was my crush back in the day before I realized, you know, if I took her home, she'd probably talk to my sister, but I me. I but uh, let's do some 7th Street and next. Talk more with you next. Stick yeah. around, okay? okay. How about 5.7?
It's Kid Ice. Probably one <laughs> small breaker that popped in my head, but that's called the next. Top of the 5.7, Montgomery's number one for hip-hop and R&B with the bad boy this afternoon, JoJo McToy and Demetria McKinney. Hey. Hanging up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. She's up in the place. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the project. The single, which I love, for real. I'm telling you. Thank you. I'm going to rock that in the club. I'm going to see how the club vibes today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. you got to let me know. Okay. How about I, uh, we'll, we'll exchange information. And when I do, I'll play it, do the video, and send yes, it to you. Yes, yes. Exactly I love that. Play. Like, the, the response has been amazing. Everybody's been tweeting, you know, when it's played in their different cities and all that stuff. Um, there have even been mamas kind of being low-key recorded. Right. Aisha, man, uh, Aisha M., shout out to her. You know, just singing 100, and everybody's really, really taking hold of it and embracing it wonderfully. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Now, how do you and the brat, and now what's this where the brat hooked up, or you actually have seen her and shook hands with her and said, be on my project? Tell me that story. Let me tell you something. I have watched the brat forever since Functified. I love her flow, her okay. swag is everything. And um, when this project came, I knew I wanted a strong female rapper to represent. Right. But the game has changed so much that I really didn't know anybody other than her that I could have on there and represent right. it the way it needed to. So we have a mutual friend, Blue. Shout out to Blue. And he hooked that up, actually. You know, he had been talking to me about her. He had been talking when you to got her that about news, me. how does that, you know, how was you like? It was surreal. It was surreal. You know, it was just, it was a big weight off my shoulders. I knew it was going to be represented the way it needed to be. Okay. She's I can't awesome. wait. I can't wait. She's awesome. and she, she's, she's performing tonight, too? Oh, no. Come on now. Can't spill all the tea. They got to come out and see. All right. That's what's up. Tonight it happens at uh, my place, catering. Uh, showtime is when? 7 o'clock? 7.30? Which is 5.30 our time. So get there on time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you know, there's, you know, there's, there's yeah, yeah, Pacific, yeah, yeah. CP, CP. Pacific, 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 Mountain, Central, uh -huh. Eastern, and Cullet. The four time zones. Oh, the four okay. the time zones. Let's do some Janae Aiko. Uh, you feeling the worst? Worse really? Point, well, yeah. you don't know. You in a happy relationship, and you just all I've been through the out. worst. You still all sprung out right. You can't remember that right now. <laughs> Seriously, you washing dirty drawers right now by I hand. Am, by hand. I was, the, I was gonna say that at the creek. Uh huh. That's what Happily. you doing. Yeah. I love my man. I love my man. I love my man. I love. My man. I love you go in the worst. Demetri McKinney hey. hanging out with your boy this afternoon. Yes. And uh, let me let me do some radio stuff before we get back into oh, this. All right. Okay. So make sure you join us this Saturday. <laughs> it's definitely going to go down. The place is uh, it's called the Life Lounge, thirty six twenty seven Debbie Drive. You know how it goes down for set it off Saturdays with Hop One Hundred Five. I've got that out the way. Make sure everybody. Now back to Demetri McKinney who hey. is performing tonight at my place starting at seven thirty. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do we get when you hit the stage now? You get me. You know, I really appreciate everybody's support of House of Pain. You know, I was definitely Janine on that narcotic. I'm definitely playing Monica on the Ricky Smiley show. I've done the Devious Maids thing and Drop Dead Diva. But this, what you're going to get tonight, is an exclusive look at me, the person. I know. Yeah. So what is your inspiration for being the crackhead? Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, not like people, you know, get inspired. But when you're playing something like a crackhead, like, how do you get the inspiration? Do you, like, hang with crackheads? Well, I, I, I actually have some people in in my family that right. suffer from that you so know so you I've, I've definitely home. witnessed it and i did go out and i did watch and i did really really did you be like become a crackhead on the street to see if no, you could I go over i didn't now 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 no you know i'm just <laughs> i'm just saying you but know I, like you practice the role why not you know go into makeup and I'm all that stuff and then just go out and just see if people believe you mm -mm, mm -mm. I, I had to do that on smoke. the actual show but yeah i, I definitely was around it and right. again i have people in my family who suffered from that disease so right. You know, it gave me an opportunity to have a whole different perspective. And I love the fact that Janine wasn't just that. You know, right. a lot of times, you know, with Holly Berry and her role is that she was just that. Janine had such an arc and a growth and a change that really made it possible for me to, to show the different layers that I was capable That's of. That's what's up. How do you do my mind asking? Oh, honey. I turned 27 four times. Okay. All right. <laughs> So you're just celebrating the, uh, the 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 fourth anniversary of your 24th of, birthday. Of 24th, yeah. That's how you got to look at it. Q21 yeah. just add anniversaries to it. This way yeah, you don't add you, you don't do. add numbers. That keeps you young. You just learn something, right? <laughs> that's what's up. I tell you what. Uh, let me get into your song right here. And hold on one second, because this thing ain't acting right. Oh, here you go. Now I got it. I'm on it. 
I'm on it. Go, on ahead it? And, go ahead and introduce it. Go ahead. Montgomery, this is your girl, Demetria McKinney, formerly of Tyler Perry's House of Pain, now on the Ricky Smiley Show. And this is my current single, 100, featuring the brat. You need to get rid of it. You can just come on this show. Come on. It's more fun. <laughs> I'm more talented, too. You are. Thank you. Oh. Montgomery's Don't Want to Be Hip Hop and R&B. Go with the song, Demetra. Go ahead. Tell me all that you want, honey. Woo! Because it's written all over your life. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Just inside. Woo! That's going to be hot tonight. What else you got on the title? I know you're just oh, not going to do that one, but nah, give, us, give us some other titles. You know, I'm not going to... I might not give titles, but I'm definitely going to give some of the influences that have made me want to sing over the years. Okay. Um, Erica Badu is absolutely amazing. Faith Evans, um, we got some some Beyonce, maybe Mike just thrown in there, you know, okay. one or two, but it's just going to be a really good time. Don't really throw in no Beyonce. Time. Huh? Don't throw in no Beyonce. Don't throw in no Beyonce. Nah, nah. Now the other ones, replace the other Beyonce ones? with some Lauryn Hill. With How about the, that? Oh my gosh. How about Lauren that? Come on now, don't throw in no Beyonce. Don't do that. Don't do that? Don't hide it. Don't, you know, don't don't become part of the Beehive. Oh, no, no, no. It's not becoming part of it, but I do definitely Don't bow to the Beehive. <laughs> You know they actually the have a church Go in Atlanta, a Beyonce Move away from church. the light. Yeah, you know, Who don't do that? it. Yeah, people in the Beehive. I can't. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, but I tell you what, uh, I gotta ask you this: what's your what's your thoughts on the uh, the thought revolution? Oh man, the thought revolution. The thought once, revolution. Once it gets to the point where scandal is what it is, we right. have to recognize that it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the scandal, it's scandal made, it's, it's what is it, Olivia Pope? Right. Because she was kind of doing her thought thing with the president. Right. And the fact that we have thought being like retweeted, uh, Rihanna uses thought. What do yeah. you think about that? Like, thought is like a real thing now. Well, you know, she's got experience. I can't you know with you. You know, I'm not saying you're not gonna make me do this experience. today. You're not gonna experience. make me do this today. All right, so I gotta I gotta put this on you real quick because this is funny too. Oh God. Uh, you watch reality, <laughs> reality shows. I watch some of sometimes. All right, so what you about to ask me? Dude? I know I'm about to ask you this because you know I'm just gonna get your your opinion on this. Uh, you watch Basketball Wives? No. Ha! I don't. Okay, but everybody knows Drea. Oh yeah. Right. So Drea <laughs> was on a show the other day, and I want you, I want you to hear this. About rehabilitated thoughtism. She said what now? About rehabilitated thoughtism. Is this from like first hand experience? This is from her. Listen to this. Listen to Drea right now. Listen. I think that a hoe is somebody who sleeps with everyone, um, and anybody. And um I don't think I'm considered a hoe no more. I don't really got no, no nobody more. in the last like two or three years. No, no your hoe your wholeness can get deleted. Like I Now the funny part is that Drea acknowledges her wholeness. Her holy holy. Oh, That's been... in the bit. She says it. She, she says, says it. no more. She says no more. And she's, she definitely says she's not a whole no Do more. you believe in rehabilitated wholeness? I I hope it's out there since she done don't it right. like she used to be. One. Can a whole be a I, housewife? Can you make a whole housewife? You know, I think I think that with anybody Is that if whole you rehab find out if there? you find the right person, anybody can change. But can you drop can you can you You drop, can't let you cannot can you undo the what has happened. Right. But you can stop what you're doing. Janine came off crack. People can come off of being a hoe. Okay. Well, then there we go. So there is such a thing as rehabilitated wholeness. Oh, I hope so. So all, for all, all you hoes out there. Oh, no. Demetrius said. Jesus be a <laughs> That you can. That you can. I said, no, Drea said. Drea said for all you thoughts out no, there. No, I asked you. Is but no, some... I said. I said Janine could recover. So could everybody else. Okay. So there is possibility of rehabilitated wholeness yes. in Demetra McKinney's <laughs> And that's all I wanted to know.
Get everybody to social media. Come on, come on, jump on it, jump on it. Y'all, y'all can follow me at Demi McKinney on Twitter, at Demetria, the number four real on Instagram. The website is Demetria McKinney. Shout out to the Demetrians. You have been holding me down. Thank you so much. And uh, the EP, officially yours, will be available by the end of this year. Check okay, it out. so the Demetrians. Demetrians. Oh, Demetrians? Yes. Okay. Could they, could they beat up the beehive? Put, put them in the street. Who wins? The hive or, or the metric? <laughs> the hive is numerous. They are. I'm just saying, you know, take take their best 10 and your best 10. Oh, I think we got them. You got them? I think we got them. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's Easy. what's up. I'm excited about the show tonight. Thank you so Acknowledge much. Acknowledge me. You got it. You know, just yes. point. I don't need no, to No, I'm going to bring you up so you can be my man candy. I'm doing the slow thing now when you, I walk well, up. Well, if you do the slow thing and everybody else is doing fast, you're going to look kind of cuckoo. But I'll, I'll go with I'll, you. Oh, there you go. I'll go with you. See, that's my dog right there. Yeah, that's my dog right there. I like you. <laughs> I like you. All right, so uh, growing up in Atlanta, I'm going to play some songs, right? And when you hear these songs from the ATL, just tell me just what comes to mind. Because you grew up with Atlanta Sound, am I correct? Somewhat, yeah. Oh, well, that's what's up. All right, so let me play this joint right here. And you tell me when you hear it, you know, strictly... You know, what, what comes to mind? I mean, it's the, it's the Atlanta sound, right? It's how Atlanta gets down. It's how they do their thing. Right? I'm so nervous. Why? Because I don't know what you're going to play. You don't play uh, thoughtisms and, and stuff. All right, you hear this, you hear this song. Hey. That's all I hear. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what comes to mind? What comes to mind? Man, T.I.'s and me. That's all I think about. All right, let's go to the next one, all right? You hear that's what you... What? Hey, hey. What comes to mind? What comes to mind? Uh, man, I think about the moment I was in. I was definitely in the club the first time I heard this. Really? Yes. You were a club head? I wasn't a club head. It was, I was about one to of say. those moments where I was in there, oh, okay. you know, I happened to be in the spot. And See, I you weren't a club rat. Right? You were just in there getting a party on once in a while. Once every once in a while. Okay, what about this one? Straight from the end. I what remember about this one? riding in to the old mobile <laughs> and having that trunk going crazy. Like everybody was going crazy. Everybody. That's what's up. That's what's up. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Stop. You have been wonderful. You've been awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you. that. I tell you, you are cuckoo for Cocoa Puss, but I, I love it. And I appreciate you saying off the radio that I'm more talented than Ricky Smiley. I didn't the say that. I said you I are. That, that was back. a question mark. I can play that. That was a question mark at the end. It, was, it wasn't I'm a gonna statement. I'm going to play that back. You know, I don't. don't mm. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. Don't you be a too. stranger. We'll exchange information. So when anything happens, man, just feel free to call me up on the show. You know I'm on from 2 to 6. Let me call JoJo and just tell him about my project. This way we don't go through middlemen and, you know, and, and promotions people and all that stuff. Right. right. We fam now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what's up. Demetri McKinney tonight, ladies and gentlemen, she has been the best. Uh, showtime is at 730, which is 530 color people time. Get there early, look clean, wear deodorant, have a good time and enjoy her tonight because she's going to do your thing. All right. Wear deodorant. Yeah. You, you got to remind folks, man. Good night.